Well, it's really consistent with how I've governed and, and how I grew up. I come from a very um, working class family where my mom was able to take off two hours for lunches to go to the events or to hear about the state of the city. And I thought it'd be important, especially in the first one, to do the chamber event, but also do an event that the wider community could go to who can't afford to pay the $40 or who can't get off work um, during the afternoon. Um, so I'm really excited about it. And we have gotten a lot of calls and emails and texts from people asking, can I buy them tickets or can they go or how can I talk to their so-and-so so they can get off work early. I'm like, that's, that's ridiculous that, that the state of the city or the vision for the city should be accessible for all. I'm so excited to do the thing with the chamber at lunch and also excited to do the thing in the evening um, with a different audience of folks so that the whole spectrum of the city gets to kind of hear and participate into what is the vision for Stockton moving forward. Well, is there going to be anything distinct in your evening remarks that's different from what you say in the afternoon? The biggest difference will be the evening address will, get, will have more community voices. So it won't just be me speaking. Um, we'd be speaking a little bit, but then me moderating a panel with other people who are doing important works and who have a same kind of shaping on the state of our city.